Hello everybody, welcome back to Mac Gaming Revolution. Today I'll be telling you how you can play Fallout 2 or Fallout 1 on your Apple Silicon or Intel Mac. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to purchase a copy of Fallout 2. You can simply do this by going to GOG.com and then just looking up Fallout 2. There you go, Fallout 2, Fallout 1 on sale right now for two bucks actually, pretty good deal. You can also get them from Steam, but it's so much easier if you just get it from GOG because it'll just literally give you the game files. Once you have Fallout 2, get it from GOG, get the offline files, and then you'll be good to go. Once you have the Fallout 2 game files from GOG, you're going to want to look up Fallout or Fallout 2 CE, depending on which Fallout you're getting. I'm gonna do this whole tutorial for Fallout 2, but this works basically exactly the same for Fallout. So, once you're here, what you're going to want to do is just go to the newest release, like that, and then yeah, scroll past all this. You can see all these change logs or whatever. See what, if anything, any of that's relevant to you. But um, yeah, go down here to these assets and then simply download this Fallout 2 CE macOS DMG. All right. Once you have the Fallout 2 CE DMG file and the Fallout 2 folder, what you're going to want to do is double click on this, which should open up this little window right here. Inside of it is the Fallout 2 executable file. You're going to want to take this and drag it right into your Fallout folder. It should just be Fallout 2. I have it as 2A because I was doing some experimenting. So just take it and then just drag it right in there. Boom. Now, simply just launch it. Double click it, open, and there you go. Here we have Fallout 2 running. So here we are in Fallout 2, and yeah, as you can see, it's fully functional. This is all working, whatever, you know. Um, as you may notice, the resolution is a bit screwed up. As you know, it's not supposed to look like this normally. And on top of that, the aspect ratio is also kind of screwed up as well. However, you can change that in the settings file, which I will show you shortly. To change the resolution and aspect ratio, what you're going to want to do is just locate the, you know, your Fallout 2 file, and then go to your f2res.ini file. Open that, open with text edit, and then here you can change the resolution. So see full screen resolution, stuff like that, scaling, whatever. Um, the uh, aspect ratio, things like that. You cannot change all of that here. So there you go, Fallout 2 or Fallout 1 running natively on both Apple Silicon and Intel Macs. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.